Whenever something was happening, the room would just go dim, like really dim, even though the light's really bright. And the room would go dim. And all of a sudden it would be all echoey. Sounds like the frequency is trying to shift. Like trying to like going into a different realm. Um, oh, and one night I told you this. This one. We were laying. We were actually laying down. You know, not doing anything, just chilling, talking. You know, talking while we were falling asleep. Then we heard a growl, a really loud, you know, dog type growl. And it sounded like it was inside the room. And we got up and we were, we sat next to each other and we were looking around. Then we heard like these huge, you know, animal, you know, walking. And you can hear that of like you know like how dogs have those claws and they was like yeah. It sounded like that was like. It's so funny. Nothing. And it sounded, it really did sound huge. It didn't sound like a regular dog. It sounded like <coughs> in the hall, no less. And you know how skinny that hall is. Yeah. It's skinny. And there was some more growling. Uh, although now, suddenly, Chris claims that it was nothing to worry about with one of his health. It was looking oh. out for us. I'm like, I'm like, what? And I'm like, Janet, next time, tell him that if his hellhounds don't, you know, back down, find a, uh, finding a person that gets rid of them. I don't care. And she's like, that's not very nice to me. I'm like, well, if you guys can be irrationally, you know, mean about the angels, even though they've done nothing wrong to you or Bree, then I can be irrationally mean about your stupid little hellhounds freaking me out late at night when I'm trying to fucking sleep. I'm not going to take this fuckery. Right. Alright? You can't, you can't talk sense to an animal, okay? 
I'm, and I'm not going to try to talk no sense to no fucking hellhound. I'm smarter than that. <laughs> Most people are. They don't need to be calling hellhounds if, if they have so much power. They just they seem to be getting, getting rid of And he claims that he, that he destroyed Legion. I'm like, Janet, he's full of shit. I told her flat out, he said, I'm like, he's full of shit. If you destroy something like that, it's cosmic. Everything and everyone feels it. The world feels something like that. You don't just destroy something like Legion and just go on your merry way. Yeah. Somebody would notice. And if that were true, if he defeated something like Legion, nothing would fuck with anyone that knew him. They would go, oh, hell no, boys, don't do that. You have to get that the fucking, he, they know the guy who you know, fucking killed Legion, you know. Don't. He'll fuck us up. You know, nothing would ever touch us. Especially, they would, especially wouldn't bother Brisha or Janet. Yep, that's true. You wouldn't bother. Janet says that for the past few months, Bree doesn't like going into the room alone. And whenever she sees someone going in the room alone, she looks at them with, like, sheer terror in her eyes. Well, if this hound hound is supposed to be doing his job, why would a little pillow be afraid to go in that room? I know, and what's, you know what's really messed up? Bree wasn't afraid of the room when I was there. And when I was there, whenever she was afraid, I would tell her to call the angels. Uh, and I would go, Bri, are you scared? And she would go, yeah. And I'm like, okay, then pray for the angels to come and help you. She was never bothered by the angels. She liked the angels. And yet Jenny gets pissed <coughs> because she thinks, and Jenny thinks that they're trying to recruit Bri. I'm like, no, they're trying to protect her because it's you and Chris always being complete fucking idiots. These beings are trying to protect your baby because you won't do it properly. Not at all. Keep messing around with stuff. Keep opening the pants on your stock. I'm like, granted, you shouldn't be using a Ouija board, but at least I took the proper precautions when I did it with you. And I'm like, Janet, the angels are nothing to fear because they've been helping us every time we've called for help. They have helped us. Why are you so against them all of a sudden? And I know the answer already. I didn't even have to ask her. Because she was all buddy buddy with Michael. See, while Chris was away. That's my spot. And then, all of a sudden, she didn't give a shit about Michael. And whenever Michael was around, he would actually be upset about it. He would refuse to talk to her. <laughs> and Janet would be like, well, what's wrong with Michael? And I'm like, do you really have to ask? He, she, he trades him back to green and really, you know, you're, you're upset and you're questioning the reason why Michael don't want to talk to you? Shortly before Aaron left, I called for him so he can meet Aaron. I don't think they're omnipotent. No, this one might be a uh, pretty high in the chain, but all beings make them Only because they were created with the power, they're already flat out. You were created that we had to dig deep for our power. That's the only difference. Not necessarily. They could have just had more lifetimes than we. <coughs> oh, this is somebody's higher self out there. But, you know, even when I didn't 
get a hold of Gabriel. We'd always talk about him. I told Aaron about him. It's like, hey, got an angel buddy. That's okay. We think that one of the four horsemen was talking to Aaron. Hmm. You can probably guess which one. War. <laughs> and you know, and I'm like, gee, I wonder why Aaron. <coughs> Uh, I don't think they're I don't think they're mean or anything at all because Gabriel and Michael were always nothing but good to us. I would always have trouble sleeping and all of a sudden I would not have trouble sleeping. And I would feel like someone's laying next to me. And I'm like, Yay, sleep. <laughs> But then I just completely rebuked them when Aaron, when Aaron, sorry, when Chris got out of jail. Completely rebuked them. I know, it's messed up. And she wonders why Michael's upset with him. Like I said, I don't know if they're the angels or what. But whoever, whatever they are, they claim to be some sort of angel. And either way, that's kind of messed up. And that's why Beelzebub called her pathetic. It's like, you know, you're really pathetic for, just for trying not to care about the angel that you were always hanging out with. I just find the depression. We're writing this story centered on angels, about angels, and she completely repeats that. And then she looked down at me when I started to like Castiel, when I finally got to season four of Supernatural. She's like, what's up with you and these angels? I'm like, I like angels. Because I don't care how they're viewed by other people, to me they're just pure love and protection. She keeps thinking that that heaven or whatever it really is is trying to recruit us, and I'm like, even if they are, is it really a bad thing, Janet? She's like, we're neutral, and like, we, maybe, they should, maybe they're trying to protect us because they don't want us to die. They want to protect us so nothing happens to us. Maybe they're not trying to recruit us, they're trying to be our friends. Maybe that's all the angels and God want, is a friend. They don't want them, they don't want us to feel worthless compared to them. They want us all to be equal. Because there's no reason for us to think otherwise. What, other than some book a guy wrote? How do we know an angel really told him to write those words? Because if God was really loving, he wouldn't let have that shit happen. Not really. Not if he could stop it. Right. Now, if you give me God and stuff without the Bible, I could do that. Granted, I don't know why he gave us the fucking period, but I'm sure he had a good reason for it. Or it was punk. <laughs> Dad, why would you... Son, I got this. <laughs> no, Dad, you're... <laughs> She would get all mad. She would get all mad when her side parts didn't work with her properly. I'm like, is it? And I was thinking, is it that they're not working properly, or they're not giving you the answers you want? Right. There you go. It's funny though because that was around when I was starting to get back into studying my mythology, and I'm like, you know, I always wanted to be 